Lord, we thank you for the revelation of your word. Reveal yourself to us, mighty be again, in the name of Jesus. Today, I will be speaking on the remnants. The remnant. And we are going to take our text from Genesis chapter 6, from verse 8 to 22. Uh, verse 8 says, And Noah found graves. <laughs> hey, this can make one wonder where grace is. Is it lost or something? <laughs> you see, grace in the Old Testament is God's commodity that is hidden. It is not actually easily accessible to everyone in that era. So God hid grace in the Old Testament. So now, so if God hid grace, if grace was hidden in the Old Testament, where is the secret location? <laughs> Grace in the Old Testament was hidden in the ways of God. Unlike now that the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. Titus 2 11. The position of grace is also one of the major differences between the Old and the New Testament. Are you there? Now, in the Old Testament, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. But in the, in, 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 that is in the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, it was not really so. So the grace of God in the Old Testament was hidden in the ways of God. So only few men who choose to walk in God's ways found it. That is what the Bible means by saying Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The word eyes can also be replaced by the word ways. So Noah found grace in the heights of the Lord means Noah found grace in the ways of the, of the Lord. Noah found grace by walking in the ways of the Lord. From Genesis chapter 6 verse 1 to 7, sin was popular, but even in the midst of error, somebody chose God's ways. And because of that, he found grace in God's heart. Don't generalize sin. Don't generalize imperfections. Not everybody is living in sin. Not everyone is not perfect. All this one will just come and generalize we are all sinners. Talk about yourself. You are a sinner. Just limit it to yourself. Don't generalize sin. Don't generalize imperfection. Don't come and tell us everybody is a sinner, everybody is not perfect. Talk about yourself. You can only speak of yourself. Because not everybody is living in sin. And not everybody is not perfect. The Bible says, walk before me and be perfect. That means perfection is a possibility. And anything you don't believe is possible in your life, you may never walk in it. So the first thing that defines reality in the spirit is belief. So if you believe you can, you, you will. If you believe you can, you will. So many people will not be perfect because they don't believe they can. Are you getting it? Okay. There are still... And there will always be at least 7,000 people whose head have not bowed to bow and whose nails have not nailed to bow. To some nations, Nigeria is a corrupt country. The implication of that is all Nigerians will be viewed as corrupt individuals. But the good, the good news is that there, are, <laughs> there is always remnant in every territory. In Genesis chapter 6, the only remnant God found was Noah. Remember that all these were, all these are due to the breeds from this strange giant who married the daughters of men. For your information, I hope you know that corruption didn't start now. It started from Genesis chapter 6, verse 12, even before that time. That was the first time that the word corruption was ever used. Now, because God wanted to hand this corrupt and strange breed of wicked individuals that was produced by the, the, the fallen angels, you know, when the fallen angels married the daughters of men, the seed they produced was a corrupt seed, was a wicked seed. So, God now devised a means to wipe out those wicked seeds. Now, because God wanted to end this corrupt and strange breed of wicked individuals, the ark was given to Noah as a mandate. Genesis chapter 6, verse 13 to 14. 
when God gives us an assignment, <laughs> ensure we must ensure we know when, how, and where before we start. Otherwise, we may be doing something that won't attract a reward. God told Noah to build the ark. He, he, he told, you know, he gave the description of the ark and what the ark will contain. You can see that in Genesis 6, 15 to 21. The difference between a man that knows God and a man that doesn't know God is in their obedience to God. Genesis chapter 6, verse 22. God won't start anything serious with a generation that lacks remnant. If God will bring revival back, then he will use the remnant. If God will save a generation, then God will have to use the remnant. Until there is a remnant, a generation of people cannot be saved. If God will bring revival back, then he will use the remnant. Until there is a remnant, <laughs> There will be no remedy to the crimes and the disalignment, you know, the misalignment of men. Breaking news from heaven is that God is looking for a remnant in your school. God is looking for a remnant in your street. God is looking for a remnant in your state. God is looking for a remnant in your country. Will he find you or will he find nobody? <laughs> it is bad for you to be in a territory. And God won't still be able to find any remnants there. You are around and yet God is looking for somebody to send. Car. May that not be your testimony. In the name of Jesus. How can I be among the remnants? <laughs> the answer is simple. Just walk in the ways of the Lord. And you will be sure to find God's grace. Because His grace is hidden in His ways. Are you with me? So who are the remnants? The remnants are the individuals who have separated themselves from the corruption of the present age. They are those individuals that have refused to move with the sinful trend. Those are the remnants. And uh, the shocking news is that the remnants are not many. They are always few because it takes commitment it takes love for God to be among the remnant because the love of God will always constrain us. There are a lot of things we want to do, but because of our love for God, we will be constrained from doing that. I pray the Lord will give you grace even to be among the remnants that the Lord will use in this generation in the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it.